Best of the Best 2, 1993, directed by Robert Radler, brings back the martial arts and character-driven intensity of the first film while raising the stakes with a darker, more brutal story. This sequel to Best of the Best follows martial artists Alex Grady, Eric Roberts, and Tommy Lee, Philip Ree, as they face a powerful underground fighting syndicate after one of their friends is killed in the ring. With even more intense fight scenes and higher personal stakes, Best of the Best 2 shifts into a grittier tone, combining martial arts action with elements of revenge thriller, making it a different but engaging continuation of the original story. The martial arts in Best of the Best 2 are intense and dramatic, leaning more toward brutal, high-stakes fights in the dangerous world of underground combat. The sequel takes a departure from the sport-focused and respectful taekwondo seen in the first movie, transitioning into more violent brawls. The underground fighting scenes are raw and energetic, featuring a mix of martial arts techniques and showmanship, making each fight feel like a life-or-death struggle. Philip Ree, once again, impresses with his athleticism and skill, and the film's choreography stays grounded, relying on authentic techniques rather than flashy moves. This darker approach adds suspense and tension to the fights, but may feel more intense compared to the disciplined sportsmanship of the original. Eric Roberts and Philip Ree bring strong performances to their returning roles, grounding the sequel in their characters' loyalty and determination. Roberts, as Alex, brings a sense of desperation and vulnerability to his role, while Ree's Tommy Lee remains stoic and powerful, driven by his sense of justice and honor. The addition of Ralph Moeller as Brakos, the ruthless underground fighting champion, adds a menacing, larger-than-life antagonist who poses a serious threat to both Alex and Tommy. The supporting cast, including Chris Penn and Meg Foster, contribute solid performances that add emotional layers to the story. While the acting may veer into melodrama at times, the cast's commitment to their roles gives the film an emotional center that enhances its intensity. Best of the Best 2 delves into themes of vengeance, loyalty, and justice, with the characters driven by the need to avenge a friend and bring honor to their community. Unlike the first film, which emphasized teamwork and discipline, this sequel explores the darker side of combat sports, questioning the limits of violence and how far someone is willing to go for those they care about. There is also an underlying theme about the corruption and brutality within underground fighting circuits, contrasting sharply with the honorable approach to martial arts seen in the previous film. For audiences, these themes add moral complexity and bring an edgier tone, making the sequel feel more intense and emotionally charged. The plot centers on Alex and Tommy's journey into the underground fighting world after their friend is killed in an unsanctioned fight against Breakhouse. Seeking justice, they infiltrate the brutal and corrupt arena, risking their lives to bring down the ruthless fighting circuit and its dangerous champion. The storyline escalates the stakes significantly, blending martial arts with a revenge thriller structure, which may feel familiar, yet remains satisfying due to the personal stakes involved. As they face near-impossible odds, the plot drives forward with high tension and builds to an explosive climax where both justice and survival are on the line. For modern audiences, Best of the Best the Second of may feel like a gritty throwback to the intense, character-driven martial arts films of the early 90s. Its darker tone, raw action, and classic revenge plot bring a nostalgic appeal for fans of the genre, even if it lacks the depth of more contemporary action films. The change from sportsmanship-focused martial arts to underground fighting might feel like a departure from the spirit of the original, but it adds a layer of tension and unpredictability. While some may find the melodrama and brutality a bit dated, others will appreciate the film's high stakes and focus on character loyalty and sacrifice. In conclusion, Best of the Best 2, 1993, offers a grittier, more intense take on martial arts with a revenge-driven storyline that distinguishes it from the original. Its raw fights, emotionally charged performances, and darker themes resonate with fans of classic martial arts and action dramas. For today's viewers, it serves as a high-stakes nostalgic journey 
into the brutal world of underground fighting, a reminder of an era when action films relied on emotion, loyalty, and grit as much as on physical prowess.